What's going on everybody? I'm Brandon from Walker's Woodworks. Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a little bit of a review for you. So Jess M Tool Company sent me these TS stock guides and I've been using them for a couple months now and I really want to show you guys what I think. So I guess you could kind of categorize these with a feather board, except these are attached to your fence instead of being on the bed of your saw. They're fully adjustable. They slide back and forth on the fence independently. They telescope in and out. You can set them either straight in line with each other or kind of offset a little bit. The rollers on them have a rubber coating and they're both set at five degrees off center. So they're constantly holding your stock against your fence rather than just holding it down. But it also has downward pressure. So you tighten this down here and then there's springs right here that when the piece goes through lifts up and there's always downward pressure as well as holding it against your fence. So it's a lot safer to use these than just a feather board alone. So like I said, the installation on this is real simple. Basically, I just got the track on the top of my fence using a clamp to tighten it down and then I'll make sure it's centered with a tape measure. Once I knew it was secure and in the right spot, I went through with a metal punch and marked where I needed to drill holes. Once the holes were all drilled, I cleaned it off, put the rail back where it needed to be, and then I could start attaching it with the screws that are provided. They're self-tapping, and they even send you a screwdriver. I definitely recommend doing this by hand because you don't want to strip them. That's really all there was to it. I just took my fence back to the saw and I could put the guides in the rail and I was good to go. So I got a couple scraps here. I'm gonna show you guys how to set these. Basically you just put your stock down, slide these out. And when you put them down onto your stock, you put it underneath the black portion, not the wheel. The wheel is actually a little bit lower than the lowest part of this. So setting this here and tightening it down makes it just the right amount of distance from the wheel to the table saw bed. So you do that with both of them and then just pull it out and then adjust your fence to whatever width you need to cut. And then as you're pushing this through, move this a little bit. As you're pushing this through, it pushes down force, as you've seen it lifted up a little bit there, as well as pushing your stock against the fence. That really helps against kickback, and it gets a lot more accurate cuts because a lot of times at the end, your piece will wanna move out away from the fence, and that could not only cause kickback, but also not a very accurate cut. So with this short of a piece, you'd wanna have these obviously a lot closer to the fence, just doing this to show you guys how to set them up. But that's basically all there is to it, really. You can do it with all types of different sizes, um, thicknesses of wood. I have some eight quarter here. Do the same thing with it. Pull these out, set it there, tighten it down. And then you can set your fence, push these through. And it really helps out a lot, especially with longer eight quarter boards or sheet goods. It really helps out with the sheet goods. So I'm gonna do a couple demos here and show you guys how they work.
I'll leave links to these in the description below for you guys to check out. It'll take you right to it. You don't have to search around the internet or anything. Um, as well as the router table that I have installed in my saw. I wish I would have done a video on that, but I got it quite a while ago. And that was kind of before I was doing these type of videos. I also got a miter gauge that I will link below as well that I like quite a bit. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one.